Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Mystery Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at keyframing looks inside of DaVinci Resolve. This is a really, really neat effect if you got like a dramatic mood change or something like that, but you can also use it for utility, like if lighting changes. I just had a shoot where the sun came out in the middle of a take and it was really cool, but you know, my whole grade got thrown off in the middle, so I had to keyframe two grades in there. But in this tutorial, we're going to be making two different sort of styles, like a mood changing thing. So we're going to hop into DaVinci Resolve and get started. Here we've got this clip of good old David mixing away at Ocean Way C. Looks pretty cool. So let's get a quick primary grade going on here. We will bring the gamma way down and we'll bring the gain up and we'll increase the saturation a little bit. We will make our shot kind of on the warm side, right about there, a relatively neutral grade, right about there. And then we'll contrast it up some more and maybe move our pivot just a little bit right about there. Next, we'll hop over to our color match and we will add some mid-tone detail to give it that extra little grit. And now we've got, you know, a fine looking look, but you know, we're gonna pretend like there's a dramatic mood change cause we'll pretend like he's, you know, elite hacker and he just got into the mainframe and things are really getting intense now. So in order to keyframe this, what we will do is go over to our keyframe window over here drop down our corrector, and here we've got all the different things you can keyframe. And we're gonna be just keyframing our color wheels. So we hit the color corrector right here, and then we will right click and do add a dynamic keyframe. A dynamic keyframe will let it kind of fade between looks. If you use a static keyframe, it will sort of cut one look to another, which is another cool effect if you wanna do that. Especially if someone's like blinking their eye and you just wanna go through a bunch of different looks. You know, very hipster chic thing to do. But, here we've got this going. We've got our first keyframe set, and now we will scrub along, and we'll say right about there is where we wanted to finish. You know, we're just assigning some new buses, and we'll just make it go all kinds of cool. So here this is. We'll maybe even bring our gamma down a little bit more, and our gain up some. Gain go a little bit more yellowy. I lift way down to the cool side, and then warm up the midtones just a bit and maybe reduce the overall saturation some, give it that sort of cinematic look. And now if we play back, we can see how the grade fades from a sort of warmer, more neutral grade over to our more stylized cinematic grade. And that really helps build the feel of the scene. It's a little bit more of that telling story with color that a lot of people like to, you know, say that they do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this quick little tutorial. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meester Media YouTube channel. If you want even more stuff, be sure to check out MeesterMedia.com. We've got some cool stuff coming there soon, so check out for that little, you know, teaser out there. Also, be sure to follow the various social networks, links for which are in the description below. While you're down in that area, be sure to leave a like and a comment, and even share this video with your friends if you want to really make my day. Once again, I've been Theo with Meesterm Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.